Here is the United Nations Secretary General. I believe this is yesterday. Uh, and yes, he wants to make sure that they crack down on you. We'll call for action from everyone with influence on the spread of mis and disinformation on the internet. Governments, regulators, policymakers, technology companies, the media, civil society. Stop the hate. Set up strong guardrails. Be accountable for language that causes harm. And as part of my report to our common agenda, we are convening all stakeholders around the code of conduct for information integrity on digital platforms. And we'll also further strengthen our focus on how mis and disinformation are impacting progress on global issues, including the climate crisis. So if we had a president who was competent or remotely pro-America or something like that, I would be 100%, 100% for the president of the United States to first off kick the United Nations out of New York City, right? We're footing the bill on a whole bunch of this stuff. And there's always these stories every year about how none of the ambassadors or any of the people from other countries, they don't pay their parking tickets in New York City, right? Uh, just as one little small example of the negligence of these people. But I would have no problem kicking that guy out of the country. That we foot the bill to have this crazy giant building where you r run rampant with your anti-Western, anti-free speech, uh, anti, anti decent society nonsense where the human rights commission is usually run by Syria and Lebanon. And you get up there in a place that, that defends free speech, a country that is the beacon of free speech in the entire world. And you dare get up there in what was once a great city, not so much anymore in New York city. And you talk about how you were going to pressure governments to step down and clamp down on free speech that you want more guardrails. You want to watch out for language. Well, sorry, tough guy, we've got the uh, First Amendment in the United States and it's backed up by the Second Amendment and uh, you ain't gonna do it here. The First Amendment is still the jealousy world over. There are many other countries that unfortunately will abide by these globalist uh, dictates because they don't have, it's not baked into their founding, their founding documents that you are allowed to say what you think. And what's also interesting is these big tech companies that he's trying to apply this pressure on, many of them are American companies. So Elon Musk, I'm fairly certain, is not going to bend to this guy's will. Some of them, uh, Facebook, some of the other ones, again, they're still American companies, but they might be more inclined to do that. Uh, Elon Musk saw that video going around on Twitter, and this is what he responded with. The UN is more likely to cause rather than prevent disinformation. Ain't it the truth? So we have some good people fighting.